This is a 2012 Visa model number 19 RSD. And this Gulfstream unit is presented to you by Terry Fraser's RV Center in Elder Iowa. Now the Visa units have the aluminum frame construction. This is a premium construction method used. And as you can tell with the high sheen, high gloss exterior finish of the swept front fiberglass exterior got a docking light right there, diamond plate rock guard on the front, twin 20 pound LP tanks in the deluxe molded cover, as you can see there, deep cycle RV battery in the battery box, tanks will come full with gas and of course the battery charged up too, you've got hose storage immediately underneath the frame there, four integral frame mounted stabilizer jacks with sand pads included on there, gravity water fill coming along the back side of the unit. Along over here, these are tinted safety glass windows. And you do have custom alloy wheels, 30 amp electrical service, city water connection, six gallon gas water heater with direct spark ignition. And there's a spray port attachment down here too for easy connection of a water hose. Exterior cable antenna connection, sewer connection right there. VC units offer you quite a bit of bang for your buck. Here you have the low profile air conditioning unit on the roof. LED lights across the back. There's a bit of diamond plate with a bumper included. Now across the camping side you have a roll out A&E awning. Some additional storage down through here. Exterior speakers. On the unit, AC outlet, there's an additional pass-through storage hatch right there, brings us back to where we started. Okay, on to the interior. Once again, with a reminder, this presentation is brought to you by Terry Fraser's RV Center in Eldridge, Iowa. Okay, here's one of the little nice things you'll find, a stand open gas charge strut on the door. Radius door so you don't damage your awning when it's deployed. This unit has a dry weight of approximately 3,100 pounds. Qualifying it as an ultralight unit and as you can tell a bunkhouse style sort of a setup here on the floor plan. And it's very easy to move the bunk up. Another gas charge strut and away you go. Provides lots of extra headroom when you want to use this, if you prefer to use it as a sofa or an extension on your dinette area. Okay, that's a convertible dinette. Fold the table down for additional sleeping space. Depending how many kids you have or how you're going to use that, you could probably sleep five people, including the queen bed up in the front, or the double bed I guess it is, up front, two bunks. Your fifth person, if it's a child, would fit in the convertible dinette area. Low profile duotherm air conditioning unit included in here. Plenty of lighting, as you can see. Here's your LP gas monitor. Detector down there. Entertainment center. Well, okay, before we start on the entertainment center, speakers are mounted in the ceiling. Here's your entryway, entertainment center, AM, FM, CD with USB and line inputs there for your choice of music player to easy, easily add that to it. AV jacks, 12 volt accessory, and you can see the gold plated terminals there on the AV jacks. Electronic control microwave oven. High output dual burner range top with a fully ducted exterior vented range hood and range light immediately below there. Deep sink dual well acrylic deep sink with a high rise faucet. Hot and cold water of course. A jealousy extension window right through there. Here's your electrical panel down below. Left the door open for you to see. 
Now, on to the double size bed, almost a queen size bed. Additional AV jack right there for the easy addition of a television set, should you, should you wish to put it on the ledge, or it could easily be mounted in the remaining room up on the ceiling area there, on the wall. Either wall, I guess. It's an egress window right there. Here's the other window. A little look over on the bed. I think we skipped over the Dometic. It's a 6.2 cubic foot refrigerator. Refrigerator with a freezer compartment in there. And that's a gas and electric unit. And the freezer unit can be removable should you wish not to use it. Pull it out just like that and you easily have extended extra storage capability for refrigerator use at your discretion. And there's our freezer door. We'll put that to the side. Large closet here. We missed this earlier too. Closet bar. Huge closet. An additional hatch down below. There's your furnace. That's a fully ducted furnace. And a look across from this angle. Oh, we're forgetting everyone's favorite room. The Biffy, the Candaloo. If you're in the Navy, it's the head. Here we have a foot flush Thetford stool. Here's your water heater control right there. That's again a direct spark ignition hot water heater. Medicine cabinet. And we'll take a moment or two on the vent fan up here. And down below, your sink. GFCI protected electrical outlet tucked in around there. Very conveniently located. Additional heating ductwork right beside the tub. Garden sized tub. Shower combination. Now note, we do have the full shower surround. You're going to want to protect your investment, so get one with a shower surround on it there. Okay, systems monitor panel and your thermostat for easy temperature control in the unit. Take another look over here. There's the bunk with the gas charge strut holding it up. Just pull it down, latch it shut. Instant extra sleeping capability. Egress window also. That fairly well concludes things inside this Visa. 2012 Visa model 19 RSD manufactured by Gulfstream. This presentation, again, brought to you by Terry Fraser's RV Center in Elder, Iowa. Thank you.